When it comes to defining success, billionaire Richard Branson says wealth has nothing to do with it. Too many people measure how successful they are by how much money they make or the people that they associate with. In my opinion, true success should be measured by how happy you are. Most people would assume my business success and the wealth that comes with it have brought me happiness. But I know I am successful, wealthy and connected because I am happy. The main reason why I wanted to answer this question was because the person who asked the question closely associated the word money with success. It is normal to do so as in many societies, I say many because luckily not in all of them, success is almost confused with wealth. In my case, success is everything but money. I had money, but for some reason, I didn't feel successful. I was actually much more frustrated and unhappy than I am now. So I've learned to measure my success, not based on my wealth or possessions, but based on how well I deal with my inner monsters when I feel low and negative, how well I manage my relationships which are so fragile most of the time, how well I do my job, how productive and motivated I am when it comes to my projects and my hobbies, how disciplined I am, how well I manage to make a difference in this world, and based on how little importance I give to material possessions. For me, it's all about experiences and emotions. To complete my answer, I want to mention about new trends which are becoming more and more popular in Western societies and which are the proof that the word success implies much more than just being wealthy. Minimalist movement is getting pretty popular now amongst wealthy and wealthy enough individuals because people start to understand that the real values in life are our time, our relationships, our health, and so on. Minimalists are those people who don't give too much value to material things, are not interested in the latest technology, and have a deep understanding of the difference between wants and needs. They want to simplify their lives as much as possible and the quote that would best describe them is less is more. When I own less, fewer things go wrong and need to be fixed. I have more space, openings in my calendar, room in my house and calm in my heart. As I declutter and downsize, I gradually discover more of my essence and my purpose. Lisa J. Schultz Mini houses are also fashionable. People want to live in small so they can have more time for what's important. Traveling, quality time together, hobbies, education. Nowadays it's easy to find a TV program or YouTube videos where you can see people looking to downgrade the square meters of their huge houses. When I eventually moved to a smaller home, it felt cozy, like having a pair of jeans that fit me just right. No wasted living space and no baggy fabric. Lisa J. Schultz Slow living is a growing movement as well, as people want to stress less, even if that involves less money or fewer projects. They want to be more aware of what's going on around them and within them. Live in a more intentional and mindful way. Have the time to mind the little things which you can notice if you lead a hectic, money-driven life. Slow living is about well-being and doing everything as well as possible instead of as fast as possible. 
simple everyday of constantly living at a fast pace which is making them feel like their lives are chaotic. But with slow living, they end up taking a step back and start enjoying life being conscious of sensory perfusion. Wikipedia Slow Living I'm happy that more and more people start associating success with the quality of life that they have in the lines of I live a life I love, then I'm successful. Using money as a measurement instrument for success is less and less accurate. How would you have answered this question? Leave your response in the comment section.